Well, good morning, viewers. It's John O from Out and About with John O and Jez. Um, just playing around in the kitchen. I've just been to Cleaver and Co., a local butcher, just to get some meat for the weekend. I've got guests coming over, so just thought I'd give you a run through, show you what I've got. So to start with, we've got some friends coming tomorrow night, and I was going to do some wings, but I got this piece of brisket here, guys. Have a look at the size of that. You all know my brisket. 48 hours in total, 24 hours of slow cooking. Then on Saturday, it's the father-in-law's birthday, and his favourite thing is lamb shanks. So I couldn't go past these bad boys, so we'll do slow cooked lamb shanks. We'll braise them up and do them with some parmesan mash. On top of that, I couldn't go past these pork loin. Sorry, these pork loin chops, absolutely stunning. And topping that off with some oxtail. So on Sunday for Jez and I, I'll do a slow cooked oxtail pie. Couldn't go past these organic free range wings either, so I've got some of those. Okay, viewers, so I've got my coffee. Um, Nine o'clock on a weekday is probably a bit early for a beer. Not saying I haven't done it before, but just not today. So there's the rub I've got for the brisket. We're going to start getting that underway now. Um, get it marinating and then um, in the early hours of the morning we'll, um, we'll put it on slow for the guests that are coming tomorrow night. So there's the piece of brisket. That's the, um, the bottom side. So we'll get a bit of a rub on that. Then we'll turn it over and add some more. So a nice amount of rub on the bottom. And we'll turn it over, add some to the top. So there it is there, viewers. It's got a really nice rub on top of it. Um, and now we're going to get the um, the secret, secret ingredient that I do my brisket in. So bear with me while I go and grab that. Coffee's going down a treat. Be back in a sec. Right, oh, viewers. There's the secret, secret ingredient. Brookvale Union, alcoholic ginger beer. You can use just normal ginger beer. It works just as good. Um... Sometimes I think it works, may, may work a bit better, but I prefer to use the Brookvale Union uh, ginger beer. So what we'll do is get that all around the brisket and then we'll set it aside and let that marinate for 16 to 20 hours and then we'll put it on slow cook. It should be perfect. So there it is viewers. It's just going to marinate now with that rub and the ginger beer, as I said, for um, quite a number of hours. We'll pop that on tonight. And we'll cook that for 24 to 26 hours on a very low heat. And then when the guests come tomorrow, we'll um, we'll shred that up. And we'll serve that on some very fresh buns with some coleslaw and lots of beverages. So it should be a good night. And that's everything that was in my meat box. So um, if you want to see how it comes out, check back tomorrow. Because I'll do another video on the serving of the brisket and the reaction of the people that are eating it. I'd, just think that should be a good one, guys. So thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. It really does help us out. And um, I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.